Good morning, good morning, or evening, whenever you guys are, are checking this out. Um, I have another book. This one came from my grandparents' house, so it's something that I read when I was a little kid. It's called The Sly Little Bear and Other Bears. Now, first, before we read this book, we're going to have to go over a couple of words that you may have not ever seen before, maybe you haven't heard them before, or maybe you just don't know what they mean. The first one, just like in our title, the sly little bear, is the word sly. This means full of mischief or not to be trusted. Okay, they're full of mischief. The second one we're going to need to know is hasty because the second story is called the hasty little bear. Hasty means made in a hurry or done without proper care or thought. Okay, so this one means that somebody's doing it really quickly and they're not really paying attention to what they're doing. All right, so let's go back and we'll read the sly bear. Sly meaning full of mischief. Okay. This is a very old book, so I have to be very careful with these pages. Sly little bear. There was a little bear who didn't like to take a bath. When his mother said, It's Saturday, little bear, so go on in and take your bath. He didn't. He ran the water and took off his clothes. He sat down on the floor and flipped one paw in the water, back and forth, back and forth, as if he were washing all nice and clean. Then, he dried his paw and got, his, got dressed in his clean clothes and came out. He thought he was pretty smart, that sly little bear. But one day his mother took a good look at him. At an inspection time, she even put on her glasses and took a better look. Then she said, Little bear, you look pretty dirty for a little bear who's been taking a bath every Saturday. It seems to me that you'd better take one every day of the week. After that, he did, because his mother stood in the doorway, tapping her foot and watching to see that he used lots of soap. In a week, that little bear was all clean and glossy and smooth, and he sort of liked it, too. His mother noticed and said, You look clean even before you take your daily bath, which is a lot for a little bear to take. So, I guess you can go back to having just a Saturday one. So, after that, little bear had to take only one bath a week. And when his mother said, little bear, go on in and take your bath, he went right on in, and he did. Okay, so that sly little bear, he was full of mischief, and he thought he could get away without taking a bath when mom told him, right? So now we're on to the hasty bear, and remember, that means that it's done in a hurry or without proper thought or care. Hasty bear, said his mother one day. Will you please hurry out and pick some pretty colored leaves for me? Yes, ma'am, I will, said Hasty bear. And off he went in such a hurry that he never heard his mother saying, Only don't pick the shiny red three-leaved kind with berries. So, by the time she was saying, because they're poison ivy and they make you itch. He was well into the woods looking for the brightest leaves he could find. The sycamore leaves were a beautiful yellow. Hasty Bear thought they'd be nice until he saw how red and bright the maple leaves were. I'll get a big bunch of those, he thought. But just then he saw a patch still redder, shiny, three leaves together on a stem with beautiful berries besides. 
So he picked and picked till he had the most enormous red bunch and started back home. But halfway, Hasty Bear rubbed his nose and it began to itch. His paws felt itchy too. So did his toes and the edges of his ears. By the time the little bear got home, he held the leaves out to his mother. He was itching all over. What was worse, his mother backed away from the leaves. Oh, hasty bear, she cried. After all I've said, you picked the ivy leaves. Have I? asked hasty bear. And, and what did you say? I said, don't pick the shiny three-leaved kind with berries because they're poison ivy and they make you itch, said his mother. And now let me scrub you and put lotion on you for the itching. Oh, yes, said Hasty Bear, dropping the leaves on the spot and his clothes in another. Please do. So pretty soon Hasty Bear was much more comfortable itching just a little, and all dressed in clean clothes. I'll get you some maple leaves, she said. Fine, smiled his mother, who was busily sweeping the poison ivy ones outside the door. Maple leaves are lovely, and this time, before he went running out, Hasty Bear waited for a whole minute to be sure that he heard everything his mother had to say. So that Hasty Bear, he left in a hurry, just like the word hasty means, he left in a hurry and he picked those leaves without thinking about what his mother said. All right, so now we have the last story. It's called Two Little Bear. Little Bear was the smallest. He was smaller than his sister, much smaller than his brother, much, much smaller than his mother, and much, much, much smaller than his big daddy. And... Lots of times, Little Bear was left out of things. One day, he seemed left out of everything. His sister was going to pick salad greens, and when he asked to go, she said, Oh no, Little Bear, I'll be busy picking greens, and you're too small, and you might get lost. His brother was going fishing. Little Bear asked to go along, but his brother said, Oh no. I'll be very fishy, busy fishing, and you might fall into the pond. Little Bear's mother was going to bake bread. May I help, asked Little Bear. Oh no, Little Bear, said his mother. I'll be very, very busy baking, and you're so small that you might burn your nose or your paws. Oh, wailed Little Bear sitting on the front steps in a sad little heap. I'm too little for anything. But just then, out came his big daddy bear. I wouldn't say that, little bear, he said. I'm going to the store, and you're exactly the size to go pick a, ba pick a back on my shoulders. So, little bear dried his eyes, and away they went. They bought butter for the bread, lemons for the fish, mayonnaise for the salad, and a whole gallon jug of honey besides. Well, sir, said Little Bear's daddy when they got home, I never could have carried all that without a Little Bear's help. That made Little Bear feel fine, quite as big as any Little Bear needs to be and plenty big enough to eat as much as their good supper as anyone in the whole Big Bear family. The end. I hope you enjoyed those three little stories, and I hope you learned a little something too about our new words. See you next time, guys.